It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. You know, I have Clover back on today because it's important for our reseller friends to understand avenues where they can make more money, especially where we see some of our core deliverables declining in revenue and declining in profits. And today I'm talking with Michael Frothingham and Michael runs up the Inc. business for the wide formats. How are you doing, Michael? I hear you guys have a webinar coming up on the 12th this Wednesday and I wanted to talk to you about that. Hey, Ray, doing great, thank you. Everything, you know, in this new world is, of course, a new challenge, but that's why we're here to talk about new businesses and new revenue and new profit opportunities. So overall, we're surviving, we're, we're prospering, and we're excited to talk about this uh, new opportunity with all of your, your network on Wednesday. Well, you know, I got to be honest with you. Jim had a, a webinar a couple weeks ago and he was talking about the PPE opportunity and you guys are knocking it out of the park with that. You're helping resellers make money there. And now you have this wide format. And I myself, along with you and everybody else in the world that's been to a CVS store, quite frankly, any place to buy anything, you had those little stickers on the floor. Those are printed on wide formats and you provide the ink for that. Is that one of the applications? Yeah, Ray, we've got lots of unique applications for floor signage, for point of sale, and every retail, every restaurant, every school that you're looking at today, uh, they have to put up signage for keeping people six feet apart, for being safe. And in today's world, our goal is to, you know, work hard and be safe and, you know, wear that mask and also make sure we're staying apart from people so we don't spread this virus. But yeah, those applications, there's tons of printing going on and this ink works for that with various different applications. Well, I got to be honest with you. If you're in the imaging channel, quit worrying about trying to manage someone's printer in their house. Sell by format. This is all net new business. I mean, this is this is what's interesting about COVID. With challenge comes opportunity. But I, let me ask you a question because my head kind of spin. I, so I go on the Google machine this morning and I Google in that Z. I think it's a 6200 machine. Big HP, you know, wide format color machine. The tone around that thing was like $337 a cartridge. So I need to know from you real quick, how many of those does it take? Yeah, each of those printers, you know, the Z6200 series is a very popular older Pitney, I'm sorry, an HP. HP printer. Pr HP printer. There's thousands of those machines in the market. They take six tanks, six of those ink tanks times $337 to fill it once. Holy crap. Uh, the, the profit opportunity is huge on that one, right? So just like, you know, Clover's remanufactured cartridges for printers, this is like that on steroids because obviously you're getting a whole lot more than a penny, you know, a page when something comes out of a, out of a wide format machine. It's probably 25 or 30 cents a foot. So that's a huge opportunity. I, you know, you don't have to share your prices with everybody here because I know you guys sell, you know, wholesale for, for, to go out at retail, but it's a whole lot cheaper than $337, I would imagine. Oh boy, Ray. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our, our dealer base can make such good money on these products. And in fact, those line, and we'll talk a little bit about that on Wednesday is, so this is HP's way to make you switch printers. There are thousands of those printers out there. They stop making the printer, the supplies are available, but they're mm -hmm. super expensive. So we're going to talk about these strategies on Wednesday to, you know, grow your business, increase your profit and know there's a really strong alternative out there to an HP or a Canon wide format ink. Well, do you have some resellers out there knocking it out of the park with some of these COVID applications? We do, and they're doing really nicely with the, the, the floor signage and the, you know, stay separated. Uh, when you walk into a Whole Foods or any grocery store, you see signs everywhere. And those guys are doing quite well right now. And a lot of them between, uh, you know, what Jim was talking about two weeks ago with the PPE and with what we're doing with wide format, mm -hmm. uh, they, they really hit, you know, fit hand and glove together when you're out selling your, your customer base. Well, I got to be honest with you. We got to look for new opportunities. And, you know, this is a great chance. And like you said, I think a lot of our friends are already in that wide format space, but maybe you can help them with some applications from your experience, what you're seeing in the marketplace. But at the end of the day, you know, if we're charging these by the usage and we can cut our costs by 40 or 50 or 30% in supplies, that's a huge, you know, revenue source for a dealership. Is there anything you want to add before we end this? And I know I want to just make sure everybody knows it. I'll put a link on this video, but the webinar is this Wednesday, the 12th, and there's two of them. There's one at 10 o'clock in the morning central time, and there's another one at two central time. Don't miss these webinars. Clover's doing a lot of good things to help our reseller friends navigate through these tough times. Michael, I leave it to you. Ray, we're just really thankful uh, and for the opportunity. We've got great customers. We've got a great market. 
we definitely have to have these new opportunities to grow the business. And, and I'll leave you with this. You know, the OEM is trying to scare us away from these products. They're higher price machines, but we've put the time and effort behind it to have the quality to support you all. So we're excited for Wednesday and I'm telling you, we can help you make a lot more money on these products if you're in this business. And we know most of you are already in this business. So look forward to talking to you on Wednesday and Ray, thanks a million for having us on. No problem. And I'm gonna add something to what Michael said because realistically, people have been using Clover products for a long, long time and there's never been a quality issue and they wouldn't get into wide format. They wouldn't get into any other business venture if they couldn't bring the quality with them. So be assured they're quality products. My friends, I'm going to end this the way I always do. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and we'll see you on Wednesday.